G'day guys, how are you going? A little update. Um, Sean from Vic Park Flooring, lovely guy, um, great tradie too. He finished the flooring last night about six o'clock or something, yeah, burning the midnight oil. Um, so yeah, he's done a really good job. So I'll just, um, I'll, sh I'll show you around. I uh, might just go through this way. So yeah, look at that, eh? So it looks really good. Pretty stoked with it. Like I haven't even got a skirting, and look at the way he's cut it. You know, you can hardly even see the gap. So he's done, yeah, absolutely awesome job and and check out Brendo's wall it just uh, it just sets it off so well doesn't it with the with the um, this is the black butt flooring that um, that I got so yeah it looks really good down here through the uh, to the kitchen and stuff area so ready for the cupboards and everything to go in and the black door frames and stuff I'm, I'm really happy I I chose that so the painter was like who, who chose the black frames and I thought oh, I did and he's like oh, it looks good normally it doesn't he reckons but but they're gonna have black handles as well so that'll, that'll go in there. Um, so yeah, so it looks out here, that's where the uh, um, yeah, laundry's gonna go and stuff. So done a little ramp there for me, so I don't trip over. Um, yeah, they finished it off really nice. You can see with the, you know, where it lines up with uh, Dylan's tiling. They did a really, really good job. So it's ready for the, uh, all the plumbing stuff now. So I picked up the disabled toilet and um, the ambulance toilet today. So hopefully in the next couple of days I'll I'll do that. Um, the paint has got to come back. There's been a, a few things. I like. There was some like spatter on the wall over here from the, from the brick. And he just left it on there, sort of thing. So I, I took that off and you know um, and put some putty in it. So we just got to sand it back. So he's going to do that. And then I there was a big hole in the wall that he didn't have the putty to fix. So I cemented it up. And what you're meant to do is leave it down just a little bit. Um, just down a fraction so then they could put the skim coat on there you know so that's what i did on um out out here in the uh, laundry area and in the um disabled bathroom i, I had it so it's just a, a couple mils lower and then they could put the white stuff on and then sand it back later but he just painted over the whole thing so um a little bit disappointing and there was quite a few wall plugs and stuff that I, I i didn't know about didn't see and he just painted straight over the top of them so i oh, just that was a little bit frustrating, you know, because I was here, you know, I popped in now and then to say, how are you going, do you need anything, you know, to, to keep him going. And he didn't mention anything to me, you know, so that's sort of annoys me when you just go over the top and don't, don't mention anything. So yeah, it was a bit, um, stuff like that annoys me. Even, even my brother-in-law, Brendo, he, um, he built, uh, he had a house built and he did the bricklaying and he noticed that the, one of the toilets was offset, you know, it was about 100 mil off to, to the left-hand side or whatever it was. And he, he informed the building and said that needs to be moved over, right? So he finished the brick laying and then the roof went on and then the, then the windows got in, so it was lock up. So he, he wasn't allowed to, you know, sort of go back inside anymore. Um, when it went to handover, the toilet was installed. Totally installed, tiled, everything. Like there would have been so many trades that would, would have not put that, would have said, hey, there's a problem here. Like the tiler would have said something or the plumber who actually installed it would have said something. That it was, it was a small toilet anyway. But that's, that kind of stuff just just uh, bugs me a bit. And um, yeah, I, I hate it when my guys do that or even my kids or anything. If I see that, you know, that attitude, oh, it's not my job, I'm not, gonna, I'm not gonna be aware of it. I think you're better off just to say, hey, look, you know, get it to, because even with Brendo's case, mate, the, the amount of work then, the dust, they have to knock up the tiles, all the trades have to come back to fix it, you know, and it would have been so easy when Brendo was there brick lane just to go cut it up, you know, and, and fix it up, so. Anyway, a bit to do, and yeah, he's missed a bit of paint, like up here, you can see it, you know, there's no, no paint at all on that little rebate, so he's, you know, sorting that out. Um, you know, like I didn't leave any other screws, I mean, I had screws for the TV, but pretty obvious that they were, uh, you know, that they had to be um, used later on, but other than that, um, he, did a, he did a really good job, so looking forward to it. So anyway, um, I'll start putting the dunnies in the next couple of days, hopefully, and then uh, we'll get it sorted. Alright guys, thanks for watching, catch you later.